Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Garo Horono Koku in episode number 17 and 18 reactions. Okay, the previous two episodes, uh, episode number uh, 17, 15, 15 was the people, the normal citizens of Santa Bart, them actually thinking like, okay, let us protect our city on our own. And they make uh, armor, uh, they make a uh, makai armor which kind of looks like it and they are like all right we are going to make this armor and protect our city on our own and they we see like you know them actually like bringing the materials and everything all the villagers working together and uh, that kid was also involved in it um i forgot his name but the, the kid which uh, like you know who we saw in one of the previous episode when leon came in and like you know met that kid in santa bart uh, and uh, you know that that kid who is like good with machines and stuff so he he and all the other villagers we have uh, met in the like, you know, in the village they make an armor and they are like okay we are going to protect the city we're going to fight monsters and uh, <laughs> the first monster they encounter later on is a bear and they kind of do a pretty well job of actually fighting the bear uh, thank god it was not a horror and even if it was a bear they were still being overpowered by it and uh, the old man who was in the suit was almost going to die thank god <laughs> Armand was there and alphonse was also there and they helped them out by the end of it uh, but the main thing that we should learn from this uh, that episode is that the people are also not sitting down they are also like you know standing up and doing their level best to protect that town and city and um Armand and alfonso they were happy to see that and they are like yeah these are the people we're we're trying to protect and uh, yeah that was a nice little episode i hope they don't do that again because if they meet a horror again you know this the next time they'll probably die so but i'm guessing uh yeah like uh, alfonso has his people all over the place so they'll, they'll probably like you know know if something like that happens if they're in danger i'm, I'm sure alfonso will go there and help them out um that was episode 15 episode 16 was uh, he, uh an episode uh, revolving around himena and we meet a uh, a doctor who like you know like uh who was like you know who died and like another kid became the doctor take his i took his identity and a horror affected him and oh boy he he was a weird one <laughs> He's he, he was a type of a horror who actually was fussing more about uh, surpassing the doctor that he, uh, was like you know before, and uh, he he had like a twisted like you know way of doing stuff. He actually cured people and then ate them, like that was like a, the whole thing. And um, Himana was kind of also going to get affected by it because she got the plague. And the doctor was trying to like you know, save her and then going to consume her but Erman was there Erman helped uh, you know like her out and because of this weird like you know uh, like manner of the horror it actually tried to patch that was hilarious patch Erman up in the middle of a fight and Erman was like okay thanks for that and just defeated him like took his head off <laughs> And yeah like that episode like you know like let us know that yeah even though he was helping people out still he was doing that on sacrifices so we don't need to like you know uh you know take that type of a help which are building up on sacrifices and we can protect ourselves on our own so that was like the moral of that episode and uh in the end um um garm calls um uh Ehrman and she says like you are going to cooperate with Mendoza. So let's see what she means by that. I hope we get to know what what did she mean by that. Where is Mendoza? Like, was she was is he alive and how is he alive and all these questions. So let's see. So this is episode number seventeen of uh, Garo Hono no Kokuin. So yeah, let's start. I'll put in subtitles and the time here. Sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Mm. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> he's be getting better at his job. Fairy Mount. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow, this, whoa, this is a interesting watchdog thing. Oh, wait, is this? Oh, this is the entrance. Oh, that's why they protect you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, is that why the, the, the village is kind of protected by from horrors or something like that? Oh, damn. Ah, well. Okay. We have like these uh, couple of episodes. We have been continuously getting a lot of uh, Alfonso and Ermin. So I'm guessing this episode will focus on Leon. Like that's how it kind of started. So Okay. Okay, one thing I'm wondering. I really don't know the whole thing about Mendoza, but Garm is telling Emin to cooperate with him. So, is Mendoza going to not be an antagonist anymore? If that happens, I wonder who's going to be the new antagonist. But I don't think Mendoza is going to give up that easily. So let's see. Snowfall. Okay. Damn. What's happening? Why is this so? Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so they're going to meet. Or maybe, maybe uh, Leon will try to avoid him. What the hell? Yeah, is that how you... Oh, is this a lord? Oh. We've been hearing about this guy, but we've not seen him. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> wow. How <laughs> handsome. My God. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait, he came. Okay, I was not expecting him to come so readily. I thought he was going to. Okay. He's probably going to apologize. Yeah. 
damn, he's just... Yeah, it's like staying here, he realized, like, these people, protecting these people, that's what... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, he was almost getting robbed. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. That's what the grandfather was saying, you know? I don't know about that. I feel like Leon still has not properly, like, you know, gathered everything. Like... Hmm. Like, no one, like, you know, like, it's kind of normal if you think about it. Like, he was born on the fire which killed his mother. Like, imagine that, like. Yeah, exactly. I was just saying, in, the, in that episode, I was, I was saying that, like. I wonder if I would have been able to fulfill that. Hmm. True. Yeah, that's true. Every effort to give them. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> She thought that she was going to go away. No. Hmm. But you know what? Duty some will probably call him in the future. I feel like that's what's going to happen. He'll be forced to take up his blade again. Oh boy. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Like now that he has... <sighs> okay. Oh my god, I feel like some... Uh, I feel like Leon again has to take up so his sword. It's kind of... okay. Even the Alfonso is here. Oh. Okay, well... <laughs> well, I guess, okay, yeah, they don't know about horrors, do they? Like, these people? Troublesome then. What? Grand Magus? Oh my god. Oh no, yeah.
Leon has to take up his arms up again. <laughs> Things are too peaceful. <laughs> yeah, he did say, you know, like just sitting down, then like, there's nothing here, so how do you? <laughs> oh, snowfall. Okay. <laughs> yeah, things are a bit too peaceful, so... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, okay, well. He... Oh my god. It's probably underneath. If they're talking about how the horror goes underneath, you know, and they have the potatoes or whatever underneath. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Oh my god, what the hell is that? What can he do with the with an axe? Where's Alfonso? Yo, go inside! Oh my god. Damn, he's like, obviously he's trained. No. You should probably escort them. Yeah. At first we live, then we think about, you know, like if we die, like what are we going to do with the... Oh damn. They, they should have, uh, I don't know, like had one or two guards here, but what could the guards do even in this situation? What the hell, this thing can breathe fire? I was, oh my god, they should have, Leon should have escorted them. Oh. 
Oh my god! Come on, quick! Go! Go! Alfonso, go, go, go! Go! Oh my god! Okay, he has a horse, so he can go quickly. Okay, that's at least good. Oh my god. Okay, thank god he's here. Oh. Ugh. No. Nah. They were going on their way to the back to the house, I think. What the? What happened? Is there another horror or something? No, wait. Oh. Okay. Okay, nice. Wait. Oh no, that's a different horror. Is that a different horror? No, no, wait, wait. I don't under I'm not understanding. What's happening? Where are they? The dog is injured and... What? Oh my god. Oh my god! Okay, this is a different horror, I think. I don't know what's happening. Like... Damn. Whoa. Okay. Okay, there it goes. Oh my god, it's a different or no. Oh, I think Um, oh, um, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, like, stick it to the... Oh, wow, okay, I, okay, yeah, she, she's... She... Yeah, she, she's not coming back. What the hell is... like...
Right. Wow. They, it just in this episode, he he was able to. What the hell? Like. I don't know, like, what? Wait, so... Oh, oh no, no, I think the house fell down on them. The horror did not... Add, the horror was involved with um, Alphonse. Is that what happened? That the house fell down on them? Like, for a moment, I thought there was a different horror, but probably not. Like, yeah, that was the only horror that was there. So I'm guessing it, it like, it made, like, you know, it made that fire. That's why the grandpa and everyone just rushed in. And they probably went inside the house to, like, you know, salvage stuff or, like, you know, do, like, the whole seat thing. And the house fell down on them. That's what happened, I think. Let me know, uh, that was not a doing of a horror, like indirectly it was the doing of a horror, but directly it was not, the, the horror was not the reason. Like what the hell, like, is they, like he just, like in this episode only, he just made his, like you know, made up his mind, he was like, yeah, I'm going to, like, you know, like start a new and i found something to protect and this is what happens oh my god Ugh. and another thing what happened to the other i'm guessing they are also they probably also uh they cannot got crushed underneath the house I'm guessing that's why I'm sure they're going to let us know in the next episode what happened to the other family members. As far as I could understand, all of them probably just rushed into the house. And since the house was already burning, it probably just crumbled and fell on them. And yeah, he was able to find Lara who was like, you know, still alive a little bit. And all the others are probably dead. Like, oh my god, like I understand the whole thing about the uh, grandpa saying like, oh, this is our life. Like, yeah, that's true, you know, like they're, they're farmers. If like the seeds are actually their livelihood and if the seeds, something happen to them, it's over. They won't be able to get, you know, like the, what can I say, like their uh, food for probably that month or something like that. Like it's all going down and um yeah that's why it, it was basically like you know destroying the seeds would mean basically just killing them and that if you think of it in that way but i don't know like i feel like like i like they could they could have had a lot of different um what can i say like a different path they could have had a different path over here because uh, i'm sure if something happened to the seeds i'm sure alfonso would have helped them out you know like uh, he, he probably would have just seen the the situation and he probably would have said something like all right like this month we will cover your food and everything like you know, all the expenses um and as soon as you're able to 
uh you know just just uh, what can i say like as soon as you are able to get back up again you know um like you know harvest more seeds and everything uh yeah you can you know like you can then like you know start moving forward again then we'll stop uh like you know like up until that time we'll help you out now i guess uh that that also poses another problem it it would be like you know like he would actually have to but uh, i don't know like i was going to say uh if you do that for this family he'll probably have to do that for all the other families in this village as well but this is a short like small village i i think alfonso could have done that you know like if like at least for one or two months just help them out with the money and the food expenses because the horror probably destroyed just everything and they could have helped them out like that i i think about like you know but did they like you know they just rushed in even though uh, leon told them like don't don't do that like go ahead like this there was a lot of things that um you know the 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 outcome could have changed if we went in a lot of different ways for example uh this would be a tricky one but if uh, uh leon actually escorted them to that that mount fairy mount or whatever yeah fairy mount i think that's what they called them to that place and then go and talk like you know like meet alphonse uh, i don't know like but then then uh, alphonse would have taken a longer time to come but at the same time alphonse was already on the way so i'm guessing he would have eventually come so him actually leaving them all alone i think like you know leon actually leaving them all alone was a mistake i think it's a big mistake but he, he 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 like you know he had no other choice he had to go and uh like you know just go and inform alfonso about what's happening here so yeah and i don't know i maybe maybe if leon said something like all right like you don't have to think about the seeds uh alfonso will help you out just be safe for now because if you die then what are you going to do with the seeds? Like, you know, if, if you use, you know, just uh, sacrifice your life for the seeds, like, it actually just, like, you know, defeats the point. You know, you're putting the cart before the horse, that type of a thing. So, like, just, just, you know, like, just, just go to that place where I'm telling you to, and I'm sure Alfonso will help you. If he said something like that, and maybe, maybe they should have, they could have listened. Who knows? But nothing you can do about it now, I guess. All right, this episode it starts with a very peaceful setting and we uh, get to see leon actually little by little getting used to his life here and they go to the the fairy mound or that uh watchdog uh, gate i think that's what he called it um there's no mistake in it where is it it's the entrance to the watchdog center there you go so this is actually an entrance and okay so i'm guessing uh, it's kind of like that place uh, like the church you remember where um um rafael i think that was his name yeah rafael he went in through those like you know glass is like I'm, so, I'm guessing it's something like that like a similar entrance and it's not in use that's why it's it's kind of like that this like just like you know, in ruins now so here we could see like elf leon is still kind of being bothered by the fact that he cannot actually contribute to the fighting and he's just like you know like cannot do anything to help others out and fight but after that he after getting back to the village he gets to know that uh, alfonso is coming and uh, now here is where i thought he probably won't go and meet alfonso but he does go i'm guessing he, he went there to apologize to him that's that was probably what made him actively go in front of him because i was quite I, th I think i was like quite sure that he wouldn't go and probably try to avoid him or something but he did not do that it's kind of nice if you think about it you know, no more misunderstandings they just talked with each other and just came to a, a proper like a understanding apologized to each other and yeah everything's just okay so uh we meet the lord here actually the lord of the place who we have heard before uh, I'm guessing the one behind Alfonso on the, on, the, on the horse was going alongside him. That, that guy was probably the Lord. And uh, yeah, okay, so 
Here is where Alfonso meets Leon again, um, and obviously he's surprised. And then they talk about the whole situation, and uh, Leon apologizes. He he talks about the fact that how he didn't have anything to protect, and how that was actually the reason why he made the mistake that we saw him making, and <laughs> he kind of jokes about around about the whole fact that. When I met you, it felt like you were the one who was oblivious to the world, but it was actually me. And now, um, yeah, I guess you can say it like that. Like, it's not that he was oblivious to the world, but it was basically that he, he had a narrow vision. Uh, all he was thinking about was his mother and the revenge thing. And as they say, revenge actually narrows your vision. You are unable to see anything except the revenge in front of you and you make mistakes because of that you might not actually be able to see something which you may have able to see if your head was not clouded with revenge so that was what he was he was always talking about how he was going to fight to destroy all horrors this and that always talking uh, uh, like about revenge 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 this revenge that and that that made the whole situation even more like you know like more problematic you can say for him at least because he's supposed to be the golden knight and uh, a makai knight is definitely not supposed to uh you know have his heads on revenge so he he realizes he realizes his mistake he i'm guessing he also probably remembered the fact that uh he met his grandfather and his grandfather told him that yeah like have something to protect that will help you out and he, he realizes the significance of those words now after living here for a few days because as he said like you know he has something to protect now and he realizes that coming over here and spending these days and <clears throat> okay so uh, what is that part oh uh here again uh, he apologized from his like you know uh like you know, from his side and Le uh, alfonso also apologizes from his side as well about he was talking about how uh like you know maybe a similar thing would have happened to me as well if i was in your situation uh about how like you know the, the death of the queen and how uh you know when when he sat in front of the queen uh in in her deathbed he realized that that's when he realized he realized that yeah I probably would have done the same thing if I was in his shoes because I, I did say you know in that episode where uh, um, Alfonso takes uh, Garo away not Alfonso doesn't take I, I guess uh, Garo himself kind of goes to Alfonso uh, but yeah that that episode I myself said that I did not like the fact that Alfonso was actually talking and you know reacting so harshly I do understand the reason why he was so mad because so many people died but at the same time he was not looking at the whole situation from uh, leon's perspective like leon the only person like you know who was so like you know important to her was her mother leon's mother and the whole revenge thing and mendoza using that opportunity to mess with his mind by showing him the vision of his mother that you know these situations were too hard for him to bear so Alfonso actually admonishing him in that situation and driving him more into the darkness didn't help out. It, it just worked completely opposite and, and Leon almost killed himself. He was going to die, but he miraculously got saved. So that, that thing I kind of said that, yeah, I did not like that, that whole thing. And Leon himself, uh, Alphonse himself says in this episode that later on at the, at my mother's deathbed, I realized like if I were in your situation, um, <clears throat> if the life of my mother was taken, I wonder if I would have been able to fulfill my duties. There you go. Now he, he, he really understands now, like, you know, what he was going through at that moment. And he apologized for that as well. And here, uh, Leon says that I realized that I'm not fit for this. So, you know, like you carry on protecting the world and I'll like, you know, I'll, I'll try. I, I found a new reason for me f for being here, a, a, a people to protect here and I'm going to live for them. And uh, Leon uh, Alfonso's like, all right, I will protect everyone 
uh, and I will also protect them on your behalf as well. So yeah, like what a happy scene, you know. Then he comes out, and Lara, Lara thought like he was going to go away, <laughs> and Leon was like, "Nah, I'm going back. I'm going back to our home." And as like, I was like, "Oh, something like everything is so happy." And then we, I realized that there's a, actually a horror here. And I was like, oh boy, yep, something is going to happen. And uh, yeah, that's what happened. Like this, this horror thing, like this horror is actually something that I think this is something about like it's going underground. Yeah. So like them showing these type of like, you know, happy scenes, like then we go back to the house and we see them actually burying, not burying, but like putting the seeds underground. And all these, like, you know, were like, like kind of alerting me. I was like, oh, something is going to happen. They were talking about the horror being underground. And this old man is putting the seeds underground. And this old man is also talking about how these seeds are actually their lifeline or something. I'm like, yeah, this is going to go very badly. And that's what happened. And then they were showing us these, like, you know, nice like you know beautiful scenes them just on the rooftop looking at the horizon and the snowfall is happening and they're like going back there eating everything's so happy all everyone's sleeping leon goes to sleep the they're, they're zooming on in on the lantern and i'm like yep the lanterns the candle is going to go out now anytime and that's what happens the lantern's candle goes out and it starts Ugh. Oh my god and i i don't know i at least i thought that they, 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 they're, they're not going to die at least i thought maybe maybe leon will have to take up his weapon again and maybe leon will again uh, decide that they he will have to fight and then he will decide like that's what i thought is going to happen like then he will decide like yeah i'll, I'll have to leave this village and in the next day he'll probably say goodbye to everyone and they'll leave the village he'll leave the village and uh, go alongside alfonso back to the kingdom and you know trying to find his own path i thought it was going to go in that direction i thought like oh they're, they're kind of doing it like this you know leon would again like you know like get like you know his fire kind of start will start burning again inside and he will be like yeah to protect these people i need to make sure that like to defeat the horrors and I thought it was going to be like that type of an episode where they're going to get separated and it will be a sad episode. They straight up killed them. I, I was not expecting them to, like, you know, them to die at least. Like what? Like I, I was actually expecting like probably like, you know, like one person to die and it would not be Lara. I thought maybe like one of his family members, her family members or someone is going to die and Leon is going to realize something. As I said, you know, he was going to uh, take up his weapon again and he would be like, all right, like I'm going back and I'm going to defeat the horrors because I want to protect these people. Nah, I, I did not expect this. Like all of them dying and... You know, he, he does like, you know, put up a very good fight against the horror and kind of stalls it. And then he's like, okay, you guys go back to the mound. The grandpa has all the grandpa is like, you know, I need the seeds. And uh, like, yeah, like this, this, this potion was kind of like, you know, like they, like Leon had to rush stuff. So he, he, I, I'm guessing he didn't even think about the possibility of them getting attacked midway. So, or them coming back. So he just told them like, go quickly, you know, like don't come here. I'm going to go and uh, uh, see where Alfonso is because he knew that he would not be able to do anything. So and he rushes out. Now I, I like, you know, that, that definitely made me realize like, yeah, they are definitely going to come back. I'm talking about the grandpa and all of them because that whole situation was like, going towards that direction. He tells them to go to the mound and the grandpa's like, no, I need my seeds. So obviously like you know they, they wouldn't go there by the end of it they're going to come back either way so i knew that was going to happen and that was not a shock the shock was that they actually died i was not expecting them to die i thought like probably one of them are going to, is going to die not all of them and even the uh, even lara as well so yeah now he okay this part kind of confused me a little bit uh he goes to alphonse tells him that all right um yeah like just go and help them out and for a moment 
when he comes to the horror and starts fighting the horror, I'm talking about Alfonso, I was like, okay, there you go. So none of them is, is going to die because he's here and we've not seen either of them die. So, okay, everything's fine. He's going to fight the horror and defeat it and Leon is probably going to meet them on midway. But then, like, you know, Leon finds the dog almost dying and I'm like, what is happening? So it's just like, a, there's like a second horror or something? Because currently, Alfonso is fighting the horror. So what happened within this time? And Alfonso fights the horror and defeats it. Like, you know, and does like the whole... Uh, like, like that was a new move I think he just punched it <laughs> Jojo punches through some Jojo punches and the horror is dead and then we actually see Leon coming to back to the house and everything's just crumbled and I'm like yeah something probably happened here and as soon as Lara started calling him I was like yep it's, it's there she's she's not she's not going to be alive and yeah, Alphonse, uh, Leon goes to Lara, pulls her out, and uh, Lara's like, you're going to a place far away, and at first Leon is like, no, I'm not, but then it slowly dawned upon him what she's trying to say, she was trying to say that, yeah, I'm going to die, that's why you're going to a place far away from me. And... Uh, yeah, and I, I, this is where I realized later on that it's probably not the horror that got them. It's the, it's the house. The house was crumbling and the, the grandpa came rushing in. They probably went in and the house crumbled on them. That's what happened. So indirectly the horror killed them, if, if you think of it that way. But, you know, the horror was actually not the cause of their death, but it was an indirect cause. Uh, and... Yeah, Alphonse also comes and sees the scene. And it's sad, like, uh, finally, like, you know, like, Leon at least got something to protect and live for, and that's, that's just taken away from him again. Oh, God. All right, so, yeah, that was episode number... Uh, 17 so let's start episode 18 and I'm guessing we're going to get more clarification here what the hell and uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Leon now after this Leon is again going to take up his weapon we'll see because this this episode probably like you know showed him that he's powerless and to protect someone he needs something he cannot live a normal life because you know like he's the type of person who who wants to protect them actively the people and him actually trying to live a normal life would not help that so he needs to take up his sword again and fight for them to protect them or something like that. let's see so yeah this is episode number 18 so let's start i'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here think it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go <sighs> what that Yeah, what happened after that? Ah. 
and oh, no, I don't think he's going to do that again. That's not going to happen. But still, it's ah. Uh... Oh no, it's happened. Oh no, I I really thought that. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Like I thought that yeah, he he would not. Because he, ah, I don't know. Let's see. Car flame. Okay, that sounds like Oh, it's Arman's place. Oh yeah, the whole thing with Garm, he he didn't come back. <laughs> no. Damn, Herman's reputation is just. <laughs> What the? What? Ah. Uh. Yeah, the whole thing with Mendoza. Hmm. <sighs> oh, damn. <laughs> okay oh damn what the okay i was not expecting that 
ओके वो वेल बैक टू दिस अगेन Okay. What is happening? I feel like is it getting affected by the negative emotion? No, wait. Oh, is it that too? What is that? Oh, is that that's his own voice? Yeah, that's his own voice. Oh my God! Yeah, Alfonso was right. He's again getting a. Whoa, what the fire? Or was that like a hallucination? Or was that real fire? Oh, I think it's a, it was a hallucin hallucination. All right. Okay. Wh what is I think this is another a different no, this is actually his own self. Like you know the tattoo yeah, the scar or tattoo whatever you call it. Damn, this thing has been inside him forever. Yeah. Is that him? Oh, it's him. Oh no. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. 
Maybe he can control it this time. Yeah. I was just saying this in the previous episode that he's going to again take up his sword. Okay. Yeah, like it's it's the armor's own will, you know. Okay. All right. Damn. Okay, that's a nice. Oh, wow. The animation it just stepped up. Obviously, this is a mappa, so. Yeah, he's pushing him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just kicked him in his face. What was that? It's an instant transmission. Wow, okay, this is really well animated. It's kind of breaking. The blade is a little bit... Oh! Wh what type of moves are this? He's just... Like... Wow. Yeah. Like it was almost getting to him as we saw in the previous scene, but here we can see that Yeah, yeah, this scene. He probably cut it off. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh my God! This is. Yeah, he has to leave. Like nothing can do about it. Oh, is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, the, the, the flower. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he'll come back again after fulfilling his duties, you know, like Jiru, wait, who's that? Oh, the, the Mado tool.
Oh, I, I think I think we never saw Zeruba before. This is the first time she's talking. Oh my god, horror attack. Ugh. What? Oh, and yeah. Is someone going to come and save them or are they going to? Oh my god, I think they're going to die. Or who knows, maybe someone's going to save them. Let's see. I think someone's going to save them. Yeah, someone's going to save them. There you go. Question is, who is this? Oh, Leon is back! There you go. Unruler. <laughs> there you go, Garo's with him. So, he's going to use Gaia again, I'm guessing? Yeah. Uh, Alphonse. Nice. Ah. Oh. Okay. All right. Wow. This 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 episode is going all out with the animation, I can see. Damn. Oh. Oh my god. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Nice. All right, so there goes the horror. Wow. Uh, she, she really looks like Lara. Um, shouldn't you take them? Somewhere safe? Uh, I guess... Uh, yeah, I'm guessing Alfonso is going to do that. What? Oh, look at who, look who's here! Daddy's back! Uh... Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. So what is his work? What about Mendoza? That No. All right, here we go. So what's, what's up with that?
Yeah, I, I knew that was going to happen, but why is, are they helping him? Yeah. Why is Gaunt telling him to help? Worth a do. Please explain elaborately, like... You, you, you need to explain it properly. Why? The question is why? What did Gaunt tell you? I'm sure he, he did not say the full story. I'm sure Gaunt told him something else as well. Otherwise, he would not, like, you know, accept so easily that, oh, like, yeah, I'm going to protect, uh, help him out. Like, here's the thing. Like, Herman, Herman himself is, like, you know, like, fairly, what can I say? Like, you know, like, he, he, he's also someone who uh, is, like, you know, fighting against horrors and wants to protect the people. So, Gaunt telling him that, oh, you need to work with Mendoza, and him being like, is that so? All right, I'll do it, is impossible. I'm sure he asked her questions, and he was like, why should I do it? Give me the full explanation. And I'm guessing Gaunt told something to him, which made him change his mind, and he was like, all right, I'm going to do it. There must be something that Gaunt told him. And he doesn't tell that to Alphonse and um uh leon so there must be something something going on like otherwise he himself would not accept that um that responsibility of helping mendoza out without any explanation so he's probably not saying the full story All right, that's the end. <sighs> this episode, this is a really well done episode, I have to say. Like, um, at first, in the beginning, we see Alfonso pondering about what, like, whether it was a correct decision for him to actually leave Leon alone, because he might again start thinking about revenge and, you know, like, think about negative emotions and, you know, go berserk. So at that moment, I thought like, okay, maybe not. This time, it probably probably won't do it like that because he he realizes like you know he needs to protect the people and everything. And through Lara, he was able to understand the significance of that. So him again drowning in his revenge and you know like harming bystanders in that process is something that he will not do because he understands the significance of protecting the people and the reason like you know why he should do it and he, he has like a concrete reason to do it now to protect the people so he would not do something that would endanger them again but then i was kind of having like second thoughts about the situation because um we kind of shift to uh, leon and we see that that scar coming up again and i'm like okay maybe i am wrong maybe he is again going to kind of you know like drown in his revenge again so all right and then we shift back to alfonso again uh he goes to herman's place or jimena's place and <laughs> and he asks where he is because he wanted a little bit different advice he wants to talk to herman about uh, leon and we see that Eamon has not come home for quite a long time and Jimena is worried and Alphonse goes on his way Jimena goes back and Eamon is like yo <laughs> just sitting on the stairs uh, and he probably came here to say goodbye you know like because he know uh, as I said like probably Gam told him something and he decided himself to assist Mendoza don't know the reason why and don't know how he's he was able to uh you know like stay alive but you know what it would be uh, interesting like it would be interesting to see if mendoza was actually like you know we get to see like in mendoza had like a different plan and he was actually doing that and 
you know like and now we're going to get like the full picture that mendoza is actually one of the good guys or something like that like that would be kind of interesting but i don't think it's going to go down that direction because we did see that mendoza was really really like you know like actively like you know like and we even know his backstory he really hates the makai knights and the makai alchemists so i don't think it's going to be like that type of a twist where we're going to see like oh mendoza was actually a good guy all along he has been tricking us no such thing like that is going to happen i think but i do think there is something going on behind the scenes which is probably something uh Erman knows now from garm and garm gave him a mission to do something and that's why he's probably going to assist mendoza for a few like you know for a few moments and i don't know like and then maybe maybe they're going to become enemies again like I, i'm thinking like now probably mendoza's goal is something that would help erman and garm out as well so they're temporarily like i don't know making some kind of alliance i'm guessing and then getting after they're able to reach that goal and they're again going to become enemies or something like that is going to happen we'll see about that so yeah okay so Erman, yeah, Erman is back, and he he probably came here to say goodbye to Jimena because he 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 would probably just leave here for a few, um, probably a few months or maybe years or something. Like he probably has some kind of a job that was given to him by Garn, so he came here to say goodbye, and he he says like yeah, this is the place that you know like that really made me feel like I was uh, home, and. Yeah, when he was going away, Himena kind of stops him, and then we know what happens. <laughs> and now here's where um, Alphonse gets a weird feeling of like maybe I was wrong to leave Leon alone, and he just rushes out. He's like, nah, I, I need to go back because it was a mistake to leave Leon alone. At least at this time, when he's emotionally vulnerable. And we shift back to Leon's perspective again. He has taken um lara and is burying her on the process and continuously his scars are coming appearing and going appearing and going and here we kind of see that weird thing like it was probably like an evil part of him inside or something like that which not evil i won't say evil it was probably a part of him which had was like you know that's kind of uh like you know uh what can i say like filled with revenge that type of a part which he was keeping suppressed up until now so that part came out and that part was trying to kind of you know just like kind of say sweet like you know say sweet words to him and was like oh you need to you know like get like you know like get your flames of revenge burning again like the horrors took everything away from you and uh, like you know that the, the, he was seeing these visions of his mother as well and like weird hallu hallucinations of the the thing and like you know he was uh like him and uh, not him and uh, sorry um lara like you know like just becoming one part of lara was becoming that shadow type of thing and there was that part where he kind of uses the cross and was like a flame probably it was depicting the flames of hatred or flames of revenge and these things uh, were happening and i was like yeah maybe he's going to go back to that state again but there was still one part of me that was telling me that he probably won't uh, do that again because you know he has changed he knows that he's going to uh, involve a lot of other people if he's you know starts uh, fighting based on revenge again so he I'm, i i had a part of me that was telling me like he probably won't do that but still the scar was coming in and out and i was kind of thinking like maybe who knows and when Alphonse comes in the, on horseback and when he sees Leon there, I was like, wait a minute, what's going to happen? Is he, is he, is he gone completely is he, is he, or is he here still? Is the, is the revenge still, you know, like flames of revenge still in his heart or has he been able to somehow suppress it or something? And the here, I knew this was going to happen someday. I, I was kind of thinking when it was going to happen. Leon says, like, give me Garo back. I need it. And I just said it in the previous episode's discussion that probably Leon is going to take back his sword again because he 
he realizes that he needs power to protect the people and he cannot just leave like a common people now because you know he has that thing within him and he has known the like you know that yeah he needs to protect the people so without power what can he do so he's probably going to take up his sword again and then yeah and then he's here now and he's like okay give me garo back i want to uh you know like uh fight again and now i did like you know i, I kind of thought like when when uh, he was taken like you know garo went back to not back sorry when garo went to alphonse at that moment i kind of thought uh, like if someday comes where he tries to take garo back again will alphonse readily give it to him and here that that thing was very cleared up like you know, very easily cleared up because we can see alfonso's like all right you want garo you have to show me that you are determined enough and i am not the one who is like you know keeping garo to myself garo is the one who is like you know making his own decisions so if garo deems you worthy enough he's going to go to you on your own and uh, yeah that was the thing and i like i was kind of surprised to see alfonso actually read like you know readily accept the fact that yeah he's going to get garo again because i like you know like up until now like this there was this whole thing where i like thought that since he was so what can i say uh like he was so obsessed with protecting the people being the protector and helping everyone i thought that he was not going to give like you know at least accept the fact that yeah garo is going to go back to leon again because you know garo is like the ultimate um like you know makai armor which is like you know like uh, the protector so i i thought like yeah maybe maybe something's going to happen maybe there will be a little bit of a uh, mis uh, not misunderstanding but like a little uh problem like he's not going to like you know readily give it away to him but turns out like that like you know nothing like that happened he he quite happily he was like yeah like if you are able to prove yourself you, you'll you'll get it and garo himself will go to you so i was kind of surprised at that a little bit because his obsession towards protecting people and everything is i thought that was going to stop him from giving garo back to leon but that did not happen but i guess like you know he does have gaia with him you know so yeah it's just like garo goes back to him and guy he's going to use like you know start uh using gaia again so that's basically what's going to happen and and maybe maybe i think maybe leon when he got a garo for him i think maybe he 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 knew that someday is going to, yeah it's probably that as well he probably knew that someday is going to come when leon is going to come in front of me again and ask garo back and you know that day if he's able to prove himself yeah i will give it back maybe maybe there was like this part of him as well which thought of it in that way so i'm guessing all this combined he he was like yeah prove yourself you'll get it and the fight starts and damn that was an impressive fight my god that was a really well animated fight really well done well choreographed you can say as well <laughs> and like you know like the, this thing like most of the fight scenes in this anime kind of happens in the night <laughs> so i feel like it like you know like because of the darkness we are unable to get the full glory of it uh, you know i'm guessing mappa like all the fights are really animated amazingly but because of the darkness of the night we are not able to get that like you know see that clearly enough at least for me i'm guessing this fighting scene since it was like you know, happening in the evening there was plenty of light i was like damn that's some smooth movements like that's some fluid animation because it was light outside and i can actually see them fighting and moving and then the next fight scene that happens in this episode again is in the like you know like i don't know middle of the night or something so again it's dark again and <laughs> i wasn't properly able to catch the intricate movements and stuff uh but the, the 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 middle fighting scene was really well done and it it kind of was more uh what can i say impactful because it was light outside and we could actually see them fighting properly in the light of the day unlike when they fight at night but yeah that was a fantastic scene uh like you know section and fighting section and uh yeah leon leon has some movements my god he can just like he's just like the way he's moving <laughs> just 
like like just going from one part to another and just like fainting him like faking his attacks and then fighting like that was impressive and here in the end we see what happened in the flashback you know when that that thing came out that's that revenge thing who was trying to you know like consume him again he just flashed it off and he's like no i won't drown in revenge anymore i am going to fight the horrors but not because of revenge but because i want to protect others and yeah okay and then we go back to herman that like that scene again and uh yeah we can see that they you know like they slept together and himena just wakes up and she's like yeah herman is gone and i feel like this is like you know this is a place where herman is probably going to come back again you know uh, like to himena because we've seen all the other like you know different girls that he is with but none of them is like himena and i feel like uh himena is probably someone who who is like you know who probably is very similar to anna and that's why he got so attached to her like not in that way but you know like like the the vibe like he he said himself said in one of the previous episodes that you he said something about uh, what did he say I, I can't remember the actual lines but he said something about why he is here why he stays here and something like that i don't know but he, he like you know she, he is probably a person who he uh, who urban is probably really serious about and for that i'm guessing after the job is done or like you know after you know <laughs> i don't know like peace comes back all the horrors are dead or something he's probably going to come back to her again so yeah but for now he needs to go and you know like do his duty go back to I think he said something about the front line or something. I don't know, but yeah, he probably has his duty to do. Uh, the whole thing that uh, Garm told him to. So yeah. Oh, and here we meet Ziruba, uh, the Mado tool that he has. Uh, just like uh, Zaruba, yeah. <laughs> just like um, Leon has Zaruba. This is Ziruba. Okay. And uh, we see her talking, and I th like I think I mean said something to her didn't he he said something like i need you to do something yeah so we don't know what that is but we'll see all right and then we go back to the not back but to another scene where there's two uh, children being attacked by a horror and in comes uh, alphonse and leon alfonso is uh, with gaia and leon is with garo uh, Leon has Zaruba in his hand, and uh, yeah, we see the fight. You know that was an impressive fight again. But as I said, since it's in the darkness of the night, there's a lot of scenes that I wasn't able to catch. But I'm sure the animation is really well done. And yeah, we can. And, and when he like you know transforms to Garo, we could see like you know that was that was really impressive. And he just defeats the horror and. Seeing those two children, he gets reminded of Lara, and yeah, that was sad. Ayman comes in, and he's like, all right, I'm testing you, my, my boy. And he's like, uh, yeah, I've tested you, and I can see that you, you're back again. <laughs> Since Z Zaruba is going so willingly with you, you're probably back. And Zaruba's like, yeah, he is ready for, you know, the role of... Uh, you know, like wearing uh, wearing garo uh, garo wearing the makai armor garo he's ready for it <laughs> and uh Eman is like all right i'm happy with that i just wanted to meet you guys and i'll go back to my work i have an important thing to do which is um cooperate with mendoza and everyone's like what mendoza's alive and leon is like yeah even if he's alive why are you helping him and okay so here's one thing that he says that's kind of interesting he says it's okay it's an order from the watchdog center we understand that plus a protector it's something worth doing this line this is an interesting line he says like as a protector it's something that's worth doing like what is he trying to mean here i don't think he's trying to mean like protecting mendoza i think it's something else his meaning 
which is probably a secret we don't we want to know up until the future episodes like he says plus as a protector it's something that's worth doing he never mentions that helping out uh, mendoza or protecting mendoza is something that is worth doing he's not saying that he's something it's something that's worth doing so i'm guessing mendoza is doing something which is probably something that will help you know like uh, erman and the makai knights and makai alchemists as well that's why they're cooperating with mendoza and garn gave him this order to go and cooperate with him so something like that i'm guessing we'll see but i'm sure it's not like you know like he, he's not going to dare to protect mendoza but something else and he's like all right like it'll be troublesome if you guys try to find me so i just wanted to tell you guys this bye bye and just leaves and <laughs> i'm like you could have just you know stayed here and like you know explained the situation because it didn't help you actually like you know put in more questions in their mind <laughs> and they're probably trying will try to find you out later on but we'll see about that uh, maybe maybe he did not tell them anything because he doesn't want them to get involved in this that that that's that's another maybe that's another reason why he actually did not clearly say anything to them so yeah we'll see but yeah that was where it ends i think was, was there anything else no that's where it ends and yeah like leon is back but at what cost you know like we get him back he's back again he's he's stronger and he has like you know he is like a new person now but uh, but at what cost you know like lara and all of the others just died yeah that's it thanks for watching this is my reaction to uh, garo hono no kokuin episode number 17 and 18 so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of garo hono no kokuin so until then goodbye and have a nice day